With God, Mr. Lawyer. No, that damn thing. <laughs> I did it quick before you lowered. I haven't lowered it yet, Zing. I have to go to the other website and lower it. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Bogfather's taking a try. Oh my god. Oh, it's a good again here as well. You hear me read it anyways, guys. It's fine. Two circle butts and a circle lead. So close, Bogfather. So close. But um. But um. There it is, right there. Let him have it, Phoenix. Oh, she's next to me. That's right. What is testimony? Not that time. Saying two so good cuts and a so good love. Let's see. It was about nine, I believe. I was quietly pers uh, pursuifying her. Uh, that's reading to you some papers by the window. Then I heard a bell da bed lamb coming from the outside. Surprised, I turned to the look at the building across the way. I want to gay, but not like this. <laughs> Here, I'll do you solid right now, Berlin. Here we go. I'll put the slots at the top right, just so it doesn't get in the way of the gameplay. How's that sound? Slots are now at the top right. It still showed, just just for this game, I'm moving it, so it's not in the way of the text and stuff. No, you guys keep doing it. I want to. I want to see the gameplay. I just moved it off the text. That's all. So I saw a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. It's not getting the way now. It's kind of just there. No problem. And he got it again. God damn it. <laughs> the victim. She, she ran away, but you gave chase. Oh, awesome, Justin. Yeah, buddy. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Nice one. <laughs> going off the side there. Hmm. If things occurred as you testified, I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Sing, I need you to stop winning, man. I need you to stop. I need you to stop winning, man. I need you to stop winning, man. Right, well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. No. <laughs> Let's take a look at cross examination here. Here we go. I need you guys help with this one. Let's see, it was about nine, I believe. Nine, that's the right time. I was quietly pursuing, or that's reading to you some papers by the window. Reading some papers by the window. False, you weren't there. Mr. White, you were not there, you piece of shit. No, you weren't there. By window, you mean the one directly across from the Faco Law Office? Correct, that is the only window you see. And there you were reading papers. Correct. The Gatewater is a businessman, Sotil, and I'm a busy man who has a business to do. Now let my non-brother win more. <laughs> if he wins, he'll win. That's fine. That's impossible, though, because... Because... You are there. May's testimony. Objection. It's clearly the vote, Your Honor. I fucked up! No, I fucked up! Wrong one, wrong one. Oh god, that was the wrong one. Fuck. A battle coming around outside. As I turned to look at the building across the way, it was then I saw him, a spiky haired man attacking a woman with long hair. There's no one other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was surprised, of course. There was a terrible impaction. That one's... It was all over. Hmm. 25 bits. Another 25 bit advertisement sync? Damn, dude. You keep getting an advertisement on dice, dude. Fuck, guys. All right, what do you guys think? Where do you think the uh, infraction is? What do you think it is? Bed lamp coming outside the window. You couldn't hear it. I try to think you got it. A bed lamp. A spiky-haired man presents May's testimony. Oh, good idea, Ice Dragon. Good idea. Nice. Must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. Right. Brooklyn was thrown first, right? That's true. Not that time, sake. Objection! This evidence clearly reveals contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. No, that was bad. Fuck. No, that was bad. Mr. Wright, please think the fact ever before making accusations. 
I saw this Spike Gear game man attacking. Oh, man. Losing streak. Oh, my God. He almost had it. So close. That man was none other than you, Mr. Lord. What do you guys think? I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was surprised, of course. But she was the first one to see the crime, wasn't it? Let's, let's press further with that one. What was Miss May doing at that time? Need help? We'll see. We'll see. She was just had finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping opera. Weeping openly. Did you know she had been tape tapping the Fay off his phone? Objection! Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I went to the Lord's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of Miss, Miss Fay woman. Maybe Ice Dragon. We'll take a look. I'll press further. You can make Soga lower at Lude. Oh, God. Make a good politician, Mr. White. Ho ho, after all, I'm a El Presidente. Please continue. Hmm. There's a terrible infection, then it was all over. Hold it. Let's take a look. Um, impaction? Does she just mean impact? Ridiculosity. I think you need to brush up on your language skills. On second thought, perhaps I better leave the whole language thing alone. Did Edgeworth prep this guy too, I wonder? No weakness in here. Ooh, what do you guys think? Let's see. But you weren't there at 9 p.m., Mr. White. How'd you know what time it was? Because I haven't always absolutely perfect, you know. No, 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 you're getting away with that. You are so mistrust mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So what was the proper term for a secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service at 9. Oh, it happened soon after the room revealed this room service arrived. Hmm. That's what Miss May said too. Press further. Let's press further here. No, we don't have the affidavit. We have the affidavit's gone now, unfortunately. True, the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. Ahem. This is your concern. Lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course, you cannot see me. He would need X-ray vision to pull off something like that. Hmm. Tell us, what were you doing at that time? There was no papers or anything. Reading papers by the window at the time. No, that's not right. Only well, window, you see, and there were reading papers. All right, what do you guys think? And guys, give me a little tip. What do you, what do you guys in the chat right now think? What do you guys think? What is going on in there? We'll take a look. What from coming from outside? Surprised I turned into look at the building across the way. Yeah, try it with you, Mr. Lawyer. We are screwed. Maybe. I don't know. We just said directly conflict with Miss May's testimony. Oh, there we go. There we go. Miss May clearly states that the asylum looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Getting both eyes. 40. 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is this judge on anyways? And what did you do then? Oh, no. Let's see. Ah, fuck, I fucked up. I'm dead. Two back. Two ones there. God damn it. I knew it was one of them. One of them for that one. Yeah, I fucked up. Oh, man, I went in there. No! This one's a little harder. This one's a little harder. Wait. Give chase. Alright. Give me a hint, somebody. Give me a hint so we can get through this little session here. 
reading to some papers by the window. What do you actually know, Sidox? What do you think, man? What do you think, Sidox? I'm I'm wondering what you think. Bum bum ba da na 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 na. Medlam, finally pursuing uh reading. Uh so you heard that sound? But of course, I have no snoop peeping out of the window at night. No snoop, yeah, right. You've made a career out of snooping. Gotcha. Game chase. Could it be a little more redeemable that I guess I have to keep pressing everything again. I guess I okay. I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. Oh, but sh Miss Face, uh, or sorry, Miss May, said she ran to the right. You gave Jess, uh, gave Chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always uh, absolutely positively perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Ran left? No. Ran right. Objection. Yes, got it. Finally. Fuck yeah. There we go. Wait right there. Mr. White, you've drug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that decker directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh ho ho. It is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. Nailed it. The killer was here. And the victim here. And the victim ran to the left as you claimed she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. Oh my. Synced is getting lots of pee God damn it, Synced. <laughs> she would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Oh man, he's gone crazy. Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. Maybe he really did see the victim run to the left because he was there with her. So did he witness the killing? Wait a second. Yes, Your Honor. Miss Mai says right and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both are right. Both are right. Come on, I said, but how you doing? Both witnesses are telling the truth for once. Ha! I doubt it. Or rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain the conflicting accounts and use the floor plan. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? Top of the morning, top of the morning, tell you lie. In the law offices of Fago, of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Oh, there we go. If he went left, he would have sounded that way. Ah. Right there. If he was there during the very act of the murder, that would have made him an accomplice. Possible. There was no other, uh, none other than the criminal and the victim in the room. There's no evidence, no proof that to the contrary. None. Sorry, uh, let me try that again. Oh, whoops, I fucked up. He was a killer. Yeah, he was a killer. Right there. The cat. I, I mispressed it by accident. That was by accident. That's where he was. Look, when the victim ran to the door, that would have been running to the left for the killer. He was watching from this point. It would appear that she ran to the left, Miss Press. Please, this is no time for jokes and to entice. That is where the killer was standing. Order, I will have order. 